All right, so you guys ask me literally all the time, what is a budget-friendly light that I can use on my music videos, my fitness cinematic videos, my interview videos, or just a light that is really high quality, but maybe you wanna ball on a budget. Now, I have never used GVM products before. This is the very first time. And I gotta say that when I saw the price of this, priced at I believe $159, I was a little skeptical, not gonna lie, because I personally use all Aperture lighting products. Um, I'm not opposed to trying out different lighting products or different manufacturers. Again, I was very skeptical because I was like, okay, like $159, that is like very cheap, but is it good quality? So we're gonna talk about this SD80D. Now look at the size of this thing. It is literally the size of my hand, like tiny, 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 tiny. Now. The build quality of it. I'm gonna take it off the stand here real quick to show you guys. It's all plastic for the most part. Um, the one thing I will say now again, it's because of the price of it, is you don't wanna over tighten this screw here when you do have it on a light stand. You know, I just like to toss it on and I'll screw it on when I start to feel pressure. I just, you know, give it a good quarter turn and I leave it, all right? and it'll still be able to swivel around on your light stand. Now, when I unboxed this light, the first thing that I noticed and instantly fell in love with, like I haven't seen this on a light before, is the LCD screen on the side here. I absolutely love that they put this on the side and that it is a nice big LCD screen. You can see the output power, you can see the Kelvin temperature. So this light is fully bicolor. Again, for the price, unreal um, it goes from 7500 kelvin which is what you're seeing right now and it goes all the way to 2700 kelvin so when you do unbox this light it does come with this little dome or i guess call it like a fresnel the pot light i don't really normally use this unless i'm using it for like a kicker light on an interview set which i actually did use this light as a kicker um, or a hair light on an interview set that I did for a brand video, which I'll lay over right here. So these shots did actually have the GVM SD80D just in the background. It was high up in the back and it was just pointed directly at the subject sitting down in the chair. And it did have this um, attachment on there too, just to really narrow in the light on the back of the subject's heads. But yeah, overall build quality, I think it checks out, especially for the price. Yes, it's all plastic, but for the price, you cannot go wrong and maybe you haven't purchased a light yet and you just don't have the budget for a really really high-end light this is definitely the one for you and I haven't even gone through what other features this thing has to offer it is jam-packed with so many cool features all right so swinging this around too I guess this is part of the build quality is this little lever here that you can use to adjust the tilt of the light which is nice again guys this is a plastic lever so just be careful don't over tighten things there's no reason to over tighten anything it does have two little ports here that you can um, power this actually by a little mpf style batteries so they actually sent me two of their mpf style batteries and they actually sent me a charger here as well and the nice thing about these is that they're wall chargers and just from personal experience as well using mpf batteries generally speaking if you're charging an mpf style battery with a wall charger it's gonna charge these babies up a lot quicker than if you're using like a USB cable or anything and I would recommend buying two of these as well as two of these GVM MPF style batteries um, to power this thing I don't think it would last that long with just one but with two of these suckers I did use this on a music video set and I want to say that I literally kept the light on for like a good two hours at about 80 to 100 percent brightness and it lasted yeah about two hours which is actually quite a long time when you're running just off of two little you know MPF style batteries um, we're inside the GVM app here and as you can see when you turn on the light um, as long as it's powered on, you'll see that it is ready to connect. So you can add the device. I've already done that. It's very easy, very seamless. The app actually works really well. A lot of the times these lighting apps are super finicky. Um, GVM obviously has perfected this app and tested it a lot because it works great. So I'm gonna click on the light here and it's gonna pop up. All right, cool. So we're inside of the light. I'm gonna turn up the intensity a little bit. All right, so we got the light on right here. So I can actually adjust the CCT the Kelvin temperature right on here by dragging this little wheel and there is little to no lag on the app when connected to Bluetooth. Like it is pretty much instant, I would say a half a second lag, which is whatever. Okay, so I backed out of that and now we're gonna go to source matching. What's that? Let's take a peek. 
I'm gonna click on tungsten. Oh, okay, cool. So studio lamp, so I'm gonna click that. So it presets it to 3200 Kelvin. So if I wanted this to be at, let's say daylight, 5600, sweet, halogen, four to 300. Okay, cool. Candle, 2700, obviously. So that's really cool because if you don't really understand, um, you know, Kelvin temperatures and you're just in a pinch and you don't know what to set the light to for a certain situation to properly white balance your camera, you can literally just resort to this source matching menu and you can just click whatever it is. So if you're shooting in like sunset or sunrise, you can click that and it will just preset it for you. Or let's say you're shooting in daylight and you want to just click on daylight, it's going to preset it to 5600 Kelvin. Again, guys, I've mentioned this already like a couple times, but for $159, you're getting a bicolor light that's super compact, has an LCD screen on the side, can either be plugged in to a wall or you can use one to two MPF style batteries to power this thing without a wall plug-in. And then it obviously can tilt. I think this is... A definite cop like I'm actually speechless at how much you get out of this light for the price this is pretty insane okay so we're gonna cycle through all the effects here see what this thing does so we're gonna click lightning okay I'm gonna turn this we're gonna click start holy crap man that is so sick and you can adjust the Kelvin temperature too. rate let's go to nine it's gonna go crazy oh yeah that is so badass Turn on the intensity so you can turn up the brightness, turn down the brightness. CCT loop, what's this? So it's just gonna adjust through all the different color temperatures. Candle, so I'm assuming this is just gonna flicker a little bit. Yep, just flickering ever so slightly. Nice, mimicking a candle. Paparazzi is gonna be more of like a ch, -ch like somebody's taking a photo. Nice. So you can turn down the rate as well if you want, if you don't want it to be like as flashy. When you purchase a light like this, a little studio light, sure it's $159, but I would highly, highly, highly recommend you purchase a softbox, okay? So this is the GVM softbox. It's their smaller softbox. It's priced cheaper than this light for sure, but I do like that it actually comes with the egg crate. So with an egg crate, it basically removes or helps reduce light spill. So right now I'm actually using an egg crate on my studio light that's hitting me right now. And I actually have the egg crate on there. So the light doesn't spill all over the place behind me just because I just want it to be very directional and on me and less spilling into the background. So it's sweet that it actually does come with an egg crate. And the only thing about this light box is because it's so small, I mean, look at how tiny this thing is. Like it's not that big at all but it was a little difficult to set up at first. I was a little confused. So it comes with these metal rods in the back here, like any light box that you would set up. But what I had to do is actually place the rods inside of these little um, pockets that were in here that the, the rods kind of just fish into. And then after that, the very last thing I would do is actually place the rods into this metal piece right here, which then attaches onto your studio light like so. So as you can see, we got it attached here. Just because it does take some time to set up, I mean, the, qu the more you do it, the quicker you're gonna be at it. But um, for me personally, I mean, this just fits in the back of my SUV. And if I ever, you know, need it, I can literally just toss it in the car and, you know, bring it out with me to a shoot. And then there's no setup time required for this thing. I can literally just toss a light on a light stand, toss this on the GVM SD80D, and it's ready to roll. So if you guys are wondering what the quality of light is on these, now GVM does boast that depending on the color temperature, the um, CRI rating does fluctuate. I believe it's like 93 or 94 plus CRI rating, which means that it is a very high quality light. Like you will never get light flicker off of this light ever, ever, ever. It's a very high quality um, light and good quality light. You know, you can buy into those cheap Amazon lights and they'll have CRI ratings of like 70 or like low 80s and that is going to have like a flicker. It's just gonna be a poor quality of like light. This light is worth every single penny if you are trying to purchase a light and you are on a budget. Whether you don't own lights or maybe you need a hair light, maybe you just need a small studio light for shooting YouTube content. 
this light plus the GVM softbox, just get the small softbox, is literally the perfect setup. Now, if you are wondering what the quality of light actually looks like in a color graded clip, I actually use this light on my most recent music video set as well. And I'll lay over some of the clips right now. So these clips you can see here, I actually did key the subjects with the GVM SD80D. And honestly, I could tell people that I keyed this artist with an Aperture 300D or any high-end light that costs anywhere from like, you know, $800 plus and the person would probably believe me to be completely honest people would literally never guess that this artist was keyed with a $149 or $59 light like under $200 for this light now speaking of budget friendly filmmaking equipment I actually have an online music video course price budget friendly for you guys so it is actually currently on sale 30% off for the holiday season usually priced at $99 it is now priced at $69 30% off for the most in-depth online music video course on the internet today it comes with over 130 music video lessons and I will be adding to the course in 2023 if you guys want to learn more about this online music video course click the first link that you see down in the description below you will not regret it this is literally the most in-depth online music video course on the entire internet without further ado let's get back into the review now again I will mention when I was filming these shots for this music video I was again using the SD80D by GVM and I was using their small light box so overall thoughts on this guys i mean like you can't i i don't think you can get more cost effective and affordable but still keeping a high quality light than the gvm sd80d very solid light very very impressed with this light and honestly like i said i'm a big aperture guy but I have no problems bringing this to my sets because it is so small and you just never know when you're going to need a small lighting setup. This light is going to be coming with me to every single one of my interview sets as well as my music video sets and even fitness video sets. I'm a big fan of GVM now like thank you guys for sending this to me because I probably would have never purchased into GVM if they didn't hit me up. But I mean, I'm really fortunate that they did and we got to collaborate on this little quick hit review video because, um, you know, GVM, you got a new fan. Um, I love your products. These are just so cost effective. And I mean, you guys are always asking me for like budget friendly equipment. I always tell filmmakers, you know, just, you know, save up a little extra money and just go with the higher quality stuff. But sometimes that option is just not available to people and people just can't pull the budget for you know an eight hundred thousand dollar light right if you guys want to see more review videos on you know budget friendly equipment i just turned this up budget friendly equipment or you know any sort of the higher end equipment that i do own and you know want to just see more review videos on the channel i always say that i don't get like too technical into my reviews i just want to make sure that it's high quality it works well and something that I would actually use on my video sets, which I've used this now a couple times in two very complete polar opposite scenarios. You know, I had a music video set for a rap video and then I had a super corporate interview video that I implemented um, the GVM SD80D. So um, I think that it's a great light. I've now tested it on actual paying client sets and it checks out. It did great and um, I loved using it. It was just so convenient. It's so tiny and I love that I have the option of also using it with the GVM softbox. Now if you guys do watch my music video content be sure to click this video right here because I actually do feature the GVM SD80D and some of the shots in that music video breakdown. It's a full breakdown from beginning to end of how we filmed a cinematic music video using a budget-friendly camera. So with all that being said, guys, I'll see you in this video next. Peace.